So to start off, we're going to need some stuff. We're going to need a bunch of brushes, preferably some eyeshadow brushes, a detail brush, and a foundation brush. You're also going to want to get an old paintbrush, something you don't mind really screwing around with so we can dip in some blood and latex. Some foundation to blend in your scars. Try to get as close as your skin color as you can. Some fake blood. Um, face paint or grease paint, preferably red and black. Some cotton and tissue. Some staples. A dry sponge. Um, liquid latex. Uh, spirit gum. Translucent powder. And a glue stick. So here we're going to start to trace out our cutout lines. We're trying to frame the inner part of our face and leave out our hairline and the temples and down to our cheekbones and a little bit under our chin just so we can map out where we want all the blood and guts and stuff to go. By leaving out the outside we're making it more visible that our face is really hanging on so we want to frame that part instead. So you can do whatever design you want, take out your eye or just go all the way around the outer edge. So next you're going to take your toilet paper or your tissue, I'm using toilet paper here, and you're going to separate it from the other sheet just so you can have a thinner layer. But this now you're going to use your latex and your sponge just to go and line your outside line with your latex and your toilet paper. This is going to act as the skin we're trying to pull back to make it look like our skin is coming off, <laughs> basically. As you're going along, make sure you leave the outer edges, or the inner edges mostly, to hang on while the other one is separated out a little bit more. This makes it more of a flap so then we can have that peeling skin sort of look. I suggest ripping up pieces as you go along and adding them there just so it's easier to build on and to frame the different edges of the face. And then as you go along too, don't forget to peel back some of the toilet paper because as you see here, they are getting stuck down instead of giving the effect that we want. So you just go with a pair of tweezers, you can use the edge of a brush or whatever you want just to fix it up and peel them back. Next, we're covering in foundation, so you're just going to dip your foundation brush or your sponge, whatever you're using, into the foundation color that matches closest to your skin, so we can blend in the toilet paper to look more like skin. And then if you want to set that with some translucent powder, it's totally cool, just to make it stick a little bit better and to set the foundation to make it dry faster. And then you can use the wet tissue to start peeling back parts of the skin to make it look more realistic. This part was unnecessary, but I used some of the paint just to get a quick base before I started to glue down my eyebrows. When you glue down your eyebrows, it's just to protect the skin from the liquid latex and to help it stick better with the tissue we're going to layer on top. This protects, again, your eyebrows and makes it look like they're not there. By ripping apart tissue and some cotton, you can get a better effect to make it look more like patchy, ugly flush underneath. You just want to keep building the different materials on top of each other, kind of peeling them apart with the latex. The latex is going to grip onto the materials too to make them pull and make it a little more fuzzy and hairy, which is great. By using a round cotton pad and layering it on top of the other materials, we're going to use it as an eye patch. You're going to need to do half on the top and then another half at the bottom just so you can map out where you want to stick it and then just latex it in place, layer it up a bit and then you can start using a red paint all throughout the outline of your face just using a foundation brush or a paintbrush and layering it on top of all the materials that we're currently Feel free to put more material on other parts of your face too and not just over your eye patch that gives it obviously a more realistic look 
and a more meaty looking appearance. Next you can use some black paint just to build some depth around where the skin is peeling back and then over the skin parts, over the eye patch, even on your ears and down your neck just to make a little more realistic looking. The best part now is using the blood so I just put on a sponge and I'll dab it all over the place. You can also put on a stick or the back of the paintbrush and drip it down certain spots. This just makes it look more three dimensional more like a fresh wound and then you can jump in and use some staples this is optional but in certain spots I made the cuts more jagged and pulled back just so I can put some spiricum on them and make it look like my skin is being held back by the staples too which is a really cool idea totally optional though 